Yup, what's good, original crew, man? We're back. We have I Investigated the Country, where every drug is legal. That is sad. That is sad. What country you think then? I don't know. I wish I knew the area code. <laughs> <laughs> it's just um, 778. That can be anything. That's a phone number. I know, but I'm saying that can be anything. Well, at least I can get a a, a good, like, something. Give me something. But you but you, you, you missing one, one thing. It's not state or city. It's, it's a country. country. Y'all can read. Right. I see that. Okay, okay. Yeah. So we should be educated on drug epidemics that's going on. Well, just, I just. Outside the U.S. That's all I was going to say. Oh, okay. Because he would have said state or city. Yes, country. So is it. What, north? Yeah, I'm like, is it. Yeah. Oh, they act like they don't be having no problems up, up north. So is it. Okay. What you talking about? Like say say the country. Quit. I'm saying like, is it like Canada or something like that? Mm. Why why would you say it's Canada? Because I'm just look like okay. It's still, we say it's country. Still, it still look like uh, it I'm still look looking American. At, yes, I'm still looking at the people, and then I don't know the area code, and then I'm I don't know. It's just a wild guess. I'm just I, I know Canada. it's not here, so I ain't I mean, gonna lie. You, we typically it's just the educated guess. We do a lot of videos uh, that touches other bases, and every time there's a conversation about the u.s every other country in the world in our comments <laughs> attacks the u.s like yeah. shit don't go on nowhere else yeah elsewhere yeah. so i'm like hey well you learn we're about to learn something right. i could be totally wrong i don't know so with that being said man before we get into it make sure you check out the links in the description box down below you already know where to go if you want to first part all you have to do is check out down below also if you enjoyed today's visuals like it with a thumbs up but let's go man let's check it out let's see what's about let's see where we at today where every drug is illegal. It's God, illegal. God damn. That's crazy. Let's go. This is Vancouver, Canada, a city that made Where every drug legal. Drug addiction, overdoses, homelessness, and crime. Damn. Keep driving, drive, drive. Are all drugs are just down. God made all drugs. A few side effects of decriminalizing oh, wow. every drug since January 2023. The city's goal was to make using drugs safer by making them legal. But many Canadians think it's done the exact opposite. So I went to downtown Vancouver with my friend Kevin, a social worker and drug addiction wow. specialist, to see the impact decriminalizing drugs has had on the city. Of course, smoking fentanyl, yeah. smoking crack out well, here. Yeah, it's Just most, straight dang. fentanyl, straight meth, straight crack everywhere. It's definitely the most concentrated group of people of any city you and I have ever visited. Yeah, we've only done one block, we've been out here for five minutes. It's just complete chaos. There's offices right here. Can you imagine working here full time? Considering the new laws here, I wanted to hear what kind of drugs the people here were using and how easy it was to get their hands on them. Are you on Trank right now? Is that why you're nodding out? I don't know, I might be. More drugs better. Okay. Oh, How easy would it be for us to get like fentanyl right now? Ask yeah, but keep walking by. Next person? Yeah. And how long have you been out here, sir? Huh? I've been here about four years. Four years? What was that? All of the above. All drugs are good and balanced. All of the above. Okay. God made all drugs. How many people do you think are just on this street right here? Probably between 100 people. 100 people? Well, I appreciate you guys' time. Oh, so they are already actively. actively doing the drugs while it right is. yeah at the moment bro i can't i'd be like to be honest bro you gotta be out there with a face mask on i ain't gonna hold you that i ain't, ain't trying to inhale you. nothing child i'm gonna be acting like your mama honey <laughs> <laughs> look they over there cooking that stuff look uh-uh <laughs> No. I was like, what you mean? I'm like, I'm gonna be no, I'm going to be excited. They're over there cooking that stuff. Got the whole... No, we ain't I'm doing smart. that. Smell like popcorn. Smell like burnt popcorn. Chad, that's what she said. <laughs> uh, move out of the way just a little bit. Um, hey, you think I inhaled fat meth just now? Uh, that's what it smelled like. I low-key think I inhaled some. <laughs> Did I do meth just now? 
Well, I'm feeling a little lightheaded. I'm, I'm not. I'm holding on to you for a reason. In hopes of escaping the fumes of meth I just inhaled, I walked into a nearby convenience store and noticed it was filled with pipes, bombs, torches, and every other tool a drug addict might need to fuel their drug addiction. Look at this all right here. Oh, you don't have to take pictures. Okay. Real quick. We're not allowed to take pictures, man. All right, my bad, my bad. You have a convenience store selling um, torches and bongs right outside of all this. What are you using out here today, Michael? It's cocaine. How easy is it to get cocaine out here? Uh, pretty difficult because most of it is just crap. Now you've got you've got all this trank, you got benzo, you got fentanyl, you got heroin. You don't know what is, what's in your dope. Are you concerned when you use cocaine that fentanyl might be in there? A little bit, I yeah. guess, to be honest. And mid-interview, the angry convenience store owner pulled up on his on his scooter. You have any torty? I don't even know what you're talking about, man. Huh? We're talking to him. We're talking to him. Why did he look at the picture? In, in, oh, we thought it was interesting, yeah. Hey, bro, you don't get the fuck up on my face. They be knowing who to pull up on. They'll pull up on the right person. You get what I'm saying, nigga? Man, you don't get I'm the like... fuck up on my face I smack the shit out. I'm like, th nice. this, th him video or tech should be the least of your worries. Because he's supplying. Because like, like, he. Was, like, really? He's supplying other stuff too, though. That's that's what you really mad at. Because if you're just supplying be torches and bomb pipes, you. if you just. You, you supply on, other stuff up out of there. Come on now. We can't be. We all can't be just stupid. It's, yeah, yeah. Got to use that common sense, you know what I'm saying? I know it. I know it ain't everybody ain't got it, you know what I'm saying? Cause some of y'all too book smart for your own sense. But <laughs> but come on now, it's just it's the reality of the nature. Some, some torches. torches. I'm able to okay, then what's the problem? I'm not saving the cash. Yeah, I... we deleted everything. Just go go walk away. We're Do done. You have any torches? We're not doing this. Do you have any torches? Let's call it a day. Max, then you're coming into my store, okay? This because we caught him selling pipes and torches in his convenience store, capitalizing on the drug epidemic out here. And then we stumbled upon this guy, who initially supported the decriminalization of drugs. How bad is it out here? It's terrible, it's, but uh, I mean, it's, it's the whole harm reduction thing. It, was, it started it all anyway, so it comes all for it to start up the harm reduction. But it's, you initially supported harm reduction and decriminalization? It's one of the beginning ones. Do you think it's worked? No, no, they, took, they went the wrong way. Yeah, I'm all for the legalization. Uh, there's a lot of people out there that uh, the college is cutting their meds off and they need they need their medication. Interesting, okay. I'm a, I'm a patient myself. Yeah. And the college is, has cut me right down to just about nothing. And I need to buy the street drugs to get by. I would buy it from them. I prefer to have a safe drug supply. So. And you think a lot of it's laced with fentanyl out here? Anything you buy on the streets? Everything's laced with fentanyl down here. They want to want you get you addicted. So. so do you use yourself? Yeah, I use it. I know a lot of people use it. Yeah. It's not really that dangerous if you're a user. You don't think decriminalization helps drug users overdose more often or anything like that? I wouldn't think so, no. Have seen people die out here? I have, yes. Yeah? Pretty common? This is pretty common. The proper harm reduction has been shown in European places, you know, Switzerland and shit that. The whole argument is that they have institutions to rehabilitate these users and not just facilitate the well, drug that, use, right? Too. That's one thing we've told them in this regard. The fentanyl, it, it, you get addicted to it and uh, getting off it's Hard. In addition to the decriminalization of drugs, Vancouver has also implemented what's known as a safe injection site. A safe, clean, and supervised place for users to inject while decreasing needle sharing, syringe reuse, overdose death, and in the hopes of eventually referring these people to social services and addiction counseling. Little did I know, Kevin snuck into one last night, and here's how it looks. Well, Talking about Philly in, in Philly, yeah. and they were talking about how she she was out there. She was like, yeah. that's why I said, don't don't support. Like, I'm not giving y'all some ranges. I'm not like that's the and helping continue to help them don't really help the situation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm just because uh... that that's what happens. Yeah, I just have, I really have no words because I'm just like. If you put out more shelters mm -hmm. for them to stay, more, more, help them, hey, instead of, we don't want y'all to continue to reuse syringes. So here, you're just going to continue, they're going to continue to have it. It's, it's, it's pushed. I, I, I really would like to know 
like to the only thing I want to know is even like on the last video is like the reasoning behind like your mindset the reasoning behind because you know I think I had said um maybe they feel like regardless of the fact they're going to do it regardless so why not supply them with clean needles and stuff like that for them to do it with but I'm just kind of like like at the end of the day it's still happening you know it's supporting. like you know, you giving them food. Yeah, like they like shit. I know they all gonna come feed us every Saturday. Give us clean syringes. They gonna give me some clean syringes, so I'm gonna continue my habit. Yeah, so I just gotta so, make sure I make it to the next. It'll week. never be a okay. Let me better myself. Let me get off of this. Let me go get help. Let me get rehab. Let me do like nothing. Like it's just gonna be a continuous cycle. So but I we need more rehab facilities. Most del. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. maybe some of them be more govern government um finance, but I know then you get the taxpayers who saying my money should be going to help. To that, yeah. So, so so that's a hard I, I get and I get that argument one hundred percent. But um also with like homeless shelters, because a lot of times they tell they tell a lot of people, hey, stop giving homeless people money. Because the more you, more they can make money on the streets by just sitting on the corner, the more they feel like, hey, I don't have to get off my ass to go get no job. Yeah. So a lot of, if you look at a, a lot of ways, you are like, it, it's damn if you do, damn if you don't type mm -hmm. of situation. And I and I get it both ways. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think there 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 will ever be a 100 percent true answer to stopping either homeless or the drug addicts epidemics that's going on. It's just my thing. If you if they truly wanted to get off the drugs or they truly wanted to get off the street, they will and they'll go about doing it the right way. And I will say we do need to have those right options out there that's available. Mm -hmm. But we shouldn't be hey set up here you go y'all some clean syringes or here hey here goes some money and here goes some supplies for y'all. No, when you're ready to get off the street or you ready to get off, then come. It, but that take but it takes you to want that. Yeah. But that's that's about. That's sad. It didn't seem clean, safe, or supervised from the little that Kevin saw. So I went back on the streets to ask drug addicts how they afford their drugs. How long have you been using fentanyl? Six plus years. So is this your buddy right here? Yeah, it's my friend. Yeah. So, okay. so he's nodding out. Is he okay? He's fine with me, I think. And we saw a line waiting to go to the bank. Are they waiting for social welfare checks to, to buy more drugs or what? Probably waiting to pay off their drug debt is what they're probably doing. So people are in debt to the dealers out here? Yeah. Most of them are, yeah. For instance, if you have debt... Everyone's stealing, everyone's selling their body. So people sell their bodies out here to afford the drugs? Yeah, he was stealing with them. Here, like this security guy, would he do anything if you guys... No. Can they do anything? No. No? no. And is that meth right there in your hand? It's fentanyl. Fentanyl? And a little bit of meth. Okay. How much do you use in a day? Seven Bumble. grams. Is that a lot? Seven grams a day? Yeah. Seven's a Holy lot. Holy smokes, Seven's bro. Seven's a lot. How do you afford your drug addiction out here? Boosting. Boosting? Yeah. What is boosting? Stealing. Okay, is that pretty common out here? Yeah. You know, I boost tools, clothes, phones. I noticed that you have skin lesions where the side effects of xylazine, aka train, yeah. on your right arm here. You don't think that's the xylazine taking it? $8,000 Oh, you know, I think it's dangerous carrying that out here. Okay, well, you better be careful with that on you, man. And then I found this guy guarding an alley entrance who appeared to be a drug dealer that agreed to an interview if we blurred his face. Do you use anything? Uh, yeah. Use, uh, hard. Crack or whatever. Do you carry Narcan out here? Uh, I do carry it in my car. I mean, that car. You ever had to use it? Uh, yeah, I've had, I've had two incidents where I've actually got a little bit stuff. Have you seen anyone die out here? Not personally, but around, yeah, there's people do all the time. It was clear that overdosing was surprisingly common and fentanyl seemed to be the main perpetrator. As we walked to a safe needle exchange to try to interview the workers there, we stumbled upon this. <laughs> This is where they're handing out harm reduction needle supplies and whatnot. Narcan right here. I think it's probably good to have on hand, actually. Safe injection. We have syringes and stuff. Narcan. We're just wondering if we'd hear your opinion on what's going on out here in Vancouver. Uh, this very second. Oh uh, yeah. 
not a great time. Okay, got it. Should so get out of here? Uh, yeah. No, no, it's just I've got somebody who's just OD'd outside. Okay. Oh, so that's an overdose. Okay. That is, that is what a methamphetamine with sleep exhaustion overdose looks like. Meth overdose in real time right now. Ambulance is probably coming for him. You look at Dana doing his thing. So. This is complete chaos. Yeah. And this is an active overdose in real time right there. We are completely surrounded by active users. Yeah. Also, most of my videos on serious issues like these get completely demonetized and we lose money making them. If you want to help us keep making important documentaries like these and get extended uncensored cuts, go subscribe to my Patreon for as low as five bucks a month. Link in description. As we walked off the block and into an alleyway, I noticed both ends were guarded by a drug dealer. Did you go through here? No. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they should worry about me now. Do you need them though? Oh, we're good. My surprise, we had just been offered drugs on camera. Okay, we definitely just walked through some some active drug deals. As we walked away, we started getting dirty looks from those two dealers, but it was clear we could buy drugs on any corner of any block out here in East Hastings. Yeah, we're definitely being followed right now. This guy's wrapped in a trash can right here. I mean, this scene is... I mean, you can't... How do you breathe? How do we even know he's alive? Yeah, do you want to check in on him? He might need some Narcan or something, I mean. I was worried about you, you're in a trash bag. Okay, just check on your brother. You doing okay? All right, you take care, brother. So this guy's, his back's messed up, as you can see from nodding out. This is definitely worse than Kensington by far. Definitely see a few cops. Oh, shit. This is, bro, I ain't gonna hold you my best. I heard that this year, bro. I couldn't, man. This, that, this, this whole situation is sad. Yeah. Like, and like he just said, like with the Philly one, mm -hmm. like it, this one is like to him, mm -hmm. like it's worse to him. Like this one is. Cause it's a free because roam. it's just like no one, you like at least, you know, Philly, they was trying, like bringing like the military in and trying to clean up, like whatever the case also, they was doing. Also or, in Philly, it seemed more like in this one, sectional, yeah, like this in a certain one, section. But yeah, with this, it's just kind of like, out. and then no one, the no one does anything. The authority doesn't do anything. You have security walking, you have police one they, area. They like, said Vancouver is a really nice city, but this is the downtown. Mm -hmm. And typically, downtown is probably is typically like your tourist area, right? I Maybe. would think for most cities. But I mean, I don't know how it's like things are sectioned yeah. off and what type of so. Yeah. <sighs> yeah rolling around here, but their ambulance is pulling out all day long. Oh, this guy's picking up leaves. Hey, sir, you're, I noticed your pockets are full of leaves. <laughs> what are you doing that for? It's a wild one-liner. It's money. money? Okay. So he sees the leaves as money. It's probably harder to get Red Bull than it is fentanyl out here. It is no joke. The repeated use of Trank, which causes the user to nod out for long periods of time, sometimes led to spine deformities and back problems like what you're seeing here. People were nodding out everywhere. Did you use fentanyl? And the more we talked to people out here, the dirtier the looks we got. Something felt off. There's three men to your left pointing at us and talking to them, and they're slowly walking over, so just be aware of that. Something's up. So, all right, let's go. Oh, I legitimately think they tried to take his camera. Oh, you got, because... almost got one. <laughs> he walked by and he said, I'll kill you. Yeah. What? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> He's got no back look. I'm good. trying to walk down. Yeah, everyone is eyeballing us. We're going to yeah. get some mug down here. Yeah, they're looking at us right now. Take a quick intermission back of the footage. Yeah, we got we to gotta get off at Hastings. What I've noticed is um, the drug dealers use scooters to get around here. I noticed that they so. always use scooters and they always have a, a mask on, usually a black mask. And they know the moment we're there that we do not fit in, yep. that we are outsiders, and they are watching us. Probably that guy right here. Yeah. Because they always have the black masks on. Get turned around when you said that shit. With drug dealers eyeing us on every block, we hopped in a taxi to go back to our hotel to change our outfits and hopefully not get recognized. But as evening approached, a sense of bloodlust. I ain't gonna lie. Nighttime, I'm gonna go out. Oh, yeah, nighttime? No. Nah. Not after they, they you done already interacted with you. me in the daytime. So, no. just nighttime, they, most definitely not. Just when they interacted with you like that in yeah. the daytime, nighttime would be worse. You yeah, know? No. Like. They don't want y'all to Question and murderous intent filled the air. Oh, this guy's coming over. Keep driving, drive, drive, drive. Yeah, yeah, go. We drive. Oh, oh, drive. Oh my gosh! Uh, let's go. Yeah, yeah, go. go. This is easily the most chaotic place I have ever been. I mean, my adrenaline is pumping. Thank God we're back in the hotel. The shopkeeper told me last night, uh, he said, Kevin, 
don't go to the alleyways after 7 p.m. He said they will snatch you and they will kill you. And he strongly encouraged me to go back to the hotel. I put on the hoodie so I can blend in a little bit more and just check out this disguise. Low key thing I look like a drug dealer now. You want anything, man? Wait, where? Tyler! Where? Oh, God. It's actually gotten busier out here. With a fresh disguise to blend into the hood, we headed back out one last Stick time before it got too dark. People were literally robbing each other in broad daylight out here. This is an OD. It's overdose happening right now. She yeah, looks like she's OD. She doing okay? She doing okay? You guys got Narcan? Yeah. yeah. You do? Okay, okay, good. Just want to make sure you're okay, sweetie. She's got TV and everything. Well, it looks like she was overdosing, and as she was overdosing, they're robbing her. They're robbing her? Yes. Wow. Yeah, they're picking her pockets. That's crazy. We have a guy over here just nodded out, passed out on the curb. Sir, are you okay? Just want to check on you. You okay, brother? Kevin's going to make sure they are alive. Hey, guys. You guys just, are you guys okay? Looks like they're both breathing. Actually, I'm not sure about this guy. He's moving, but it's labored. You want to, I mean, shouldn't they have their heads tilted up a little bit more? I know. Are you okay, brother? Okay. He said yes. This is wild. He had a ton of fentanyl on her. This guy's screaming at me. Oh, is he getting aggro? Okay, so we should go. People appeared lifeless on the corner of every street, and it was impossible to tell if they were just high or dead. With a seemingly endless line of drug addicts still- That is the problem. Like, you keep walking mm -hmm. past these people, they literally look dead. Like, bodies just life look lifeless. They don't look like, damn. Like, what? And just imagine all these people. A lot of these people, they're older, right? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I've seen a few young, yeah, young faces, but for the yeah. most part, yeah. But, but we all we all have to realize these people got families, kids. Mm -hmm. they're, they're not even, you know what I'm saying, caring after, not in communication with family, possibly on a the regular. These people, family don't know if they probably alive or dead. Yeah. And they just dreading that phone call one day that, hey, yep. such and such, we found unresponsive, and they like, okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, just all for a high. All for your for a high. You know how much worry and stress mm -hmm. y'all family members have? Like, that is... It's crazy, man. Waiting to get government money from the bank to go buy drugs with, this guy yeah, came out of nowhere man, offering man. us advice. If you get on that side, they're going to start messing with you in your phone. Yeah? yeah. Okay, so we call right here? So just, no, just, uh, just do it wisely. He, he knows what's up, and that makes me worried, actually. Yeah, let's go this way. Okay, let's go. We've been probably been watched for the last 25 blocks. Hey, they're reporting us. Yeah. We need to keep walking. Yeah, let's go. Thank God for our miraculous Uber driver here who's going to speed race for us out of here. After the insane chaos I'd seen out here, I hopped on a Zoom call with Eleanor Sturko, a member of British Columbia's Legislative Assembly, who wants to repeal the decriminalization of drugs. Now, what was the objective in decriminalizing those drugs? That their idea was that this would reduce stigma. They cite other countries in the world that have had some success with decriminalization. They talk about Portugal, mm -hmm. Uruguay, Germany, but there's a huge difference between what they're doing and what's being done here. Fortunately, the government is only telling half the story and they've only put half the work in because those other jurisdictions actually have involuntary care. Where the hell are they moving these people on to? It's just not fair for the public and it's not fair for people that have addictions. We need to provide them the services they need and make sure that they get the support they can to get well. What's the solution for all this? To make sure that actually police, for example, were given back their full discretion. We would sure. decriminalization. It's like trying to bake the same pie as somebody else, but you don't use the same ingredients. Not going to turn out the same. And if you want to support Kevin, go check out his YouTube channel at Truth on the Streets or help support his work directly and donate at truthonthestreets.org. Thank you, Kevin. Now, let's go to Alaska. Alaska? <laughs> also, whoever has the most viewed TikTok or YouTube short using a clip. That's wow. Man, that's crazy. The whole situation is just so, like... For me, it's like, it's just heartbreaking because I'm just like, how do you, how do you get... Like, you know how, like, um... I can't remember. Well, I guess the guys was kind of mostly speaking, you know, kind of. But I was like on the other. Oh, one. Tell me. Yeah, 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 but yeah. I'm like it. Like it didn't just start at this at, at this time. Like this had to been going on before. But like with these situations, because these people, you know, everyone seem a little to be a little way more aggressive. Mm-hmm. Um, Something. Uh, it shows as though like the the act of nature has been 
this has been going on for years. Yeah, yeah. And, and I don't know if they probably would have been, you know, more like, okay. Because, you know, you had some of them, you know, willing to talk. And then for the, for some, you know, it may have just been like the camera, you know, like, to be, or whatever the case. Like, having be, the camera in their face, especially at such. I think it was the drug dealers that was really more aggressive than the users. The users were not aggressive. The the dealers were. Yeah. All the all the people that I feel like that were, was getting aggressive because a successful dealer looks like the addict. Mm-hmm. You're not gonna yeah. you're not gonna be a true successful dealer always looking like I got the money mm-hmm. because you put yourself out there to be robbed. But if I look like the user, I blend in with my. When I guess that's the thing, because looking at it, I can't like what you just said. I can't, you know, um, differentiate like who's the dealer and who's the actual, you know. Attic per se, so when like, the the guy, call, call, like the guy that punched the the window. He could be I a dealer, because he's you know what I'm saying. Or a user, yeah. Or so now you blend in with the habitat. Yeah. So if the police do come, they don't know who's who, out here who, dealing. Who's who, yeah. Like the dude, one dude they interview, he he um, blurred his face and disguised the yeah. voice. He's a dealer, but he said he's also using. Nine times out of ten, you're not dealing and using like that. Because mm-hmm. then you'll you'll get addicted to your own supply. Yeah. That's the reason why I typically you I guess if you're gonna sell, you do have to understand the product. Yeah. So you do need to know how it feels and stuff. Unless he's but a dealer a year, to a user. certain drug uh, and uh, the uh, other yeah. type that he prefers, he indulges in that. Maybe yeah. it's one of those type of things. Yeah. I don't know. Whichever way you toss true it, that, it's still that. sad. Yeah. Like it's like, what are we doing? Yeah. But but, um, also, the, the, the corner store owner, he kind of, that was very sus because you're not going to be aggressive like that for somebody just coming in and filming that you have pipes and, yeah. and torches because typically the cops probably already know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It had to have been way deeper you're, than you're, that. Like, you're doing other stuff and you don't want people to know, like pinpoint that you possibly is doing other things as well. Yeah. That was just too sketchy, mm-hmm. the interaction was, but... Y'all let us know y'all thoughts about it in the comment section down below, man. Let us know how y'all feel uh, about that. That was a very crazy to me, though. Yeah. It's something that's that's not normal at all. It shouldn't be I normal. I've never... I didn't... This is my first time ever hearing about... Oh, yeah. Back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I've never even heard anything or someone ever mention anything about yeah. it being such a big epidemic there. Facts, 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 man. But spam us up. Let us know y'all thoughts down below. But as always... I do go by the name of Jamie Kiddis. We are. We are. Go and get it. Ain't no time to kick it. Got a stack of flip for my foes. Dollar, 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 dollar.